And that's one of the reasons he is not available tonight. If this game had been a week later, he might have been able to play. They tried to get Vareen. This is something that when you talk about Andy Dalton, not a lot of people mention, but he's tremendously fast. He makes plays with his... Look at all the pressure that Utah, they got the blitzing, the stunning up front. It was inspired yesterday. Uh, <laughs> Look out for us. Last year in Salt Lake City where TCU dominated early, but Utah came back late. Pass batted away. Important to watch in the middle of the field, the defender leading with his shoulder, not his head. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Again, bringing pressure by Utah. You guess, but you could guess for the rest of your life. I know I could, and you would never get it right. He speaks. He have to throw it away because right now, they are not sustaining their blocks. Travis McCall and Kepa Geisen gets turned around. Bag technique. Gibbons have emerged for TCU offensively. Dalton pressured. Steps away from. Mm. Here comes pressure. Utah with a chance to get some subs in the ball game to play that. But he's been a real good linebacker for him. Blitz coming. Nice. Robert Johnson, that guy that depleted me twice. Riley, pressure again. Dumps him underneath. Vereen to the one. Gives you all the information you need. Blitz coming. And he made the stop. Look at the hands of the defenders, the rushers. Look at their hands, how the defense now. Selvis Capers, the left tackle from West Virginia, blocked down, leaving Koamisi completely unblocked. The guards trying to, excuse me, the, the tight tackle the running back. Second down and six. Wilson wrapped up. Down he goes. Left side. Watch him get tripped up. As he releases, that's where John Parker Wilson was. Coming for me. I'm wondering if the time you spent with the coaches in the evenings here at Mobile, if they have asked you at all if you're... you're Frankly, he surprised me this week in a very positive fashion as Robinson drops back. And, you know... And it's a series that Utah has dominated in the win cup. Watch it. I mean, he's going to be moving to his left. Now, this is difficult for a right-handed quarterback. Look at him. Reese. Brexit tied out of timeouts. Wilson moving to his left. Goal now for TCU after consecutive penalties. Dalton with the completion. Now he goes to the game. Number 38 comes across in Blitz protection. Well, the Crimson Tide have lost two key players from their offense tonight. Second down and seven. Wilson takes off. And Joseph Turner play action to him. Dalton. Or is he going to try and get over the top and force something? Second down and four. Wilson wrapped up. Loses the foul. But again, it's pressure coming from. Carries on end of rounds and such. First and ten. Dalton in. Come on the scene. Mike oh, Neal holding his position inside, too. Loss of five. Pass short. Made the receiver make the adjustment, and that's why the play was successful. If he throws it to the right spot, this might be picked off. Robinson waited too Bumble. long. Graham forced it. And it's recovered by the North. Can hear for Riley. Now to throw out of his own end zone. The quick out. He could throw a blanket over a bunch of other guys in that same territory. Robinson to the outside. Morano is pointing to the video board, <laughs> saying to the look, you're going to see a replay. He caught it. Robinson gets sacked. Trying to get to Tim Tebow right now. And that goes as a sack and a forced fumble. And that one doesn't bother the North defense. Mike had to be tremendous, nowhere to go with the football. Single high, there's really no time. I mean, look at what happens Brandon right there. Graham. I mean, Brandon Graham forces him out of the pocket. Koamisi with another open field. Well, against the lowly Mountain West TCU Christian team, that would be a tremendous opportunity. Flag in the play. Second and ten. Wilson fires, and the catch is made. Up filling in, and tonight he's playing the nickelback and doing a pretty dang good job. Pressure on Dalton, gets it away in the screen, but Wesley can't. The different guys at that left-end spot, and both have played pretty well. Again, they want to scream. They go to Vereen this time, and for Utah 40. This is a really good Utah defense, ranked 20th in the nation overall. Vereen. Picks up. Red Zone is brought to you by Moto Blur.
Joseph Turner is the tailback. Curtis Clay goes in motion. Dalton with the lead blocker takes it. Joseph Turner with the carry. Bottled up. He won't make Marine the tailback. Delay. And he's just swallowed up in the back. He knows that one perfect. Well, watch here. Here's a little run blitz. Watch, watch the two coming in there, getting to the line of scrimmage, crowding it, overmanning, over. Immediately they go to a wildcat. The McCluster. Derek McCluster. And <laughs> Brown's going to keep it and does not get back. Ingram up the middle. Tight end Frost is there. Antoine Hicks in motion. On the ground and a big pop at the average 5.1 yards of carry at 33 punt returns. He's put himself right back into the mix here as a draftable running back. The cluster on the screen. There's the quickness. There's the first down for the 20. It's very easy to go back and look at the fact that TCU came from behind and beat Boise State in the point setable. Dalton, flag on the play. And he's red shots. Man, those take a toll on kids. To the right side. 99% of the fans here are in purple instead of 